It was all a dream on the scene, making me. Then I came along and changed everything. From cyphers to diapers. Green jiggly jeans. But the grind don't stop. We just got a bigger team. All the way to the top. Mom, what does that mean? The time is now or never. We, we are dream team. team. <laughs> I was going to get paid for this. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Lyric King, a.k.a. Nini, a.k.a. whatever it is that you want to call me. Back with yet another reaction video. As requested in the comments section underneath one of my last videos, today I have the honors of checking out my girl's little mix on one of their latest songs, which is called Cheat Codes. You already know the original video link will be in the description box down below, as well as all of my social media links. Make sure that you check us out on IG, Best Friends Since Birth. Also, check out my music page on IG, Lyric Kane Official. Also, in the description box down below, you'll be able to find my other YouTube channel. Make sure you head over there and check out my music. I'm always giving my two cents on everybody else's music. This is your opportunity to check out what I have going for myself and see if you like it. And if you do, you might as well go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe, turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on all of my latest music videos, original songs, cover songs, and everything else I have going on because I don't remember my spill. But that's okay. With that being said, we're going to go right ahead and get right into the video. And let's see what these lovely ladies has for us. I'm getting Stranger Things Dancing vibes. with this silhouette In the places that we met Ooh, trying to find you in the moon Paris never feels the same When the streets are calling your name Ooh, so I had a crowd of room Was this based in like the 80s? I right now the river with you To make the sky to Hey, is that the chick from Bumped? I have no idea what her name is, but the older sister, it looks like her. Somewhere down the line, we went and lost it. One break at a time, we lost it for. I'm broken here tonight, I'm done, and no one else can fix me. Only you, only you. That is her. Oh, no one else can fix me, only you. She's so pretty. Is she naked? I love the beat. The way it switched up like that. Beer bomb! Everybody's favorite pastime. If you're 18, 21 and older. So wait, this chick just pops up out of nowhere in the flipping bushes, doesn't even have a shirt on, throws on a jacket that she finds, like a flipping alien Loki, because <laughs> she arrived naked, and then this other chick, who's like self-conscious of herself, falls like madly in love with her. Something's going on here. She's like, that's my jacket. Get my shit back. She's a mermaid. She's not an alien. She's a mermaid. I love a mermaid. <laughs> Oh, I know Disney was mad about that. I'm confused. I thought mermaids liked water. Maybe she needs salt water. Oh, the chlorine! Maybe the chlorine was bad for And the alcohol.
Is that it? That can't be. That's it. OMG, I hate when music videos end like that. Like, just abruptly, like, a warning would have been nice. Okay, so this is what I got from it. Originally, when I heard cheat codes, I'm thinking, like, cheaters. Like, somebody in a relationship and somebody was going to be cheated on. But it's more like cheat codes of, like, games or, like, cheat codes in this one. I was going to say more so, like, in life or in love. But, like, getting an advancement is what this one actually meant, like, in cheat codes, which is a pretty cool take on it. Um, so basically, I thought the girl was an alien, but she wasn't. She was a mermaid. She shows up out of nowhere, and this chick and her are, like, madly in love. I don't know who, who the girl is from Disney, but kudos to her from uh, even being brave enough to kiss another chick on film. Like, you'll be surprised on how many individuals are so afraid, even if they are heterosexual, to cross those lines when it comes to entertainment because of the backlash that they're afraid that they may get. So, um, this may sound weird, but I'm proud of her that if she is heterosexual, that she decided to be brave enough to take that, that step and be like, hey, I'm confident enough in my sexuality to portray this role and still say I love men, but I'm comfortable in my craft to do this. So, high five to her for that. And then another thing, is she still with Disney? Because I know Disney is like very, very strict when it comes to certain things. But it seems Disney's getting like hella loose these days. I know like back in the day, like I know Disney fired some artists from even using like a couple of wrong terminologies in like outside projects or whatever. But maybe she's not with Disney. I want to say she is with Disney because I do um, acting and background work on the side. And it wasn't too long ago I was just on a set with them and she was on there. I don't know, but that's crazy, crazy, crazy. So she turned out to be a mermaid. She wasn't really an alien. I should have got it from the sleek, slick back hair or whatever. But it was sad because in the end, she got back in the ocean. I guess the chlorine water was, like, bad for her because it's bad for people, too. <laughs> and then she gets back in the ocean, and the girl just, like, sits there. And I'm thinking, like, okay, well, the other girl's going to, like, they're going to kiss again. And then maybe, like, she'll turn into a mermaid, too. And they'll go live, like, happily ever off in, like, the mermaid kingdom or something. But apparently that's not how it ended. It's like she woke up, she had a shitty day, the, the redhead. She met this girl, she fell in love, and then she had to send her back into the ocean. And then the day ended even more shittier. Like, I don't think I like this video. One thing, too, I will say to a Little Mix is I love when artists are not afraid to step back and let the story be told by other people. Like, they were not in this music video, and I think that's pretty cool. A lot of artists get caught up in the idea of them having to be the stars of the videos all the time, like, oh, it's my song. I need to be out here moving and dancing and portraying whatever this is being said. But I think it speaks volumes when the artists are able to disconnect from their music or to know that their music can stand alone without them being directly next to it or being branded directly to it. And I think that's dope that they were probably able to step back. And they probably dabbled a lot more onto the directing portion of it and were a lot more behind the scenes. And that's pretty dope to know that they're exploring into that window as well but i thought this one here was pretty dope i love the song i love the vibes definitely gave me summer vibes i can definitely see that being blasted at tons of like beach parties um hopefully not pool parties because chlorines are bad for mermaids but get in the comment section down below and let me know what you thought what you think it or what you're not if so tell me why if not tell me why let's talk about it go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the notifications so that you don't miss out you already know what it is until next time guys peace out i'm out of here